hi i hope you're having an amazing day as you saw from the title of this video we're going to be playing with a lot of new makeup some things from my shop my stash some things from my massive shop my Stay haul and also the massive haul before that the star of the show will be the clean color no color no honey to palette so if you want to see what products I use today and my thoughts on them, just keep on watching. Before that, don't forget, if you like drugs and makeup, go ahead and stick around, subscribe, maybe hit the bell to notify whenever I upload. And if you could like the video, if you like it, and the video is going to start right now. First thing I'm going to throw on is some of the AOA Studio Holds My Brow. Just because you guys saw in my full face of AOA Studio, I use this product, but I've only used it one time. So I do want to try it again just to see what i think of this product in general the first time i thought it was okay nothing extraordinary um but we'll see what i think of it today honestly i haven't used it since then just give it a spritz going with your spoolie this setting spray smells so good and just throw it on i always go before brow products this is the way i learn but yeah, it's working rather well. Next, going in with my Browy Wowie. I'm also going to fill them in using my Amuse Brow Perfecting Duo in Dark. Went ahead and primed the eyes. Next, we're going to go ahead and use the Clean Color, No Color, No Honey to Face Palette. So, I've, I mean, face palette. What am I talking about? Eyeshadow palette. So, you guys saw this in my Massive Drugstore haul that happened a couple, what was it, like a month ago? I'll have a link down below if you want to go watch. So, we basically got this from the Q Bargain. I love the Q Bargain. They always have very affordable makeup. And Clean Color is one of the brands that they carry. I loved, loved this palette when I first saw it. It's so colorful and beautiful. Now, when we swatched it in that Massive Drugstore haul, it wasn't that impressive. I have to say the mattes didn't really blow me away but we didn't swatch the whole palette so let's hope that today's look is going to come out good and i'm thinking we're going to do some kind of a green kind of blue look i don't know yet um hopefully it doesn't let us down because yeah i remember the swatches were not that amazing but here's a close-up look at the eyeshadows in here and this is also called a pressed pigment palette so i'm hoping they don't stain the eyes or the lids and also it says it is a cruelty free product what i'm thinking is possibly throwing some of this um, the metallic buttercream from aoa studio in the shade flirtatious which is just a really beautiful metallic blue possibly doing some kind of graphic liner with the aoa eyes on me vivid liquid liner and this one's in the shade hey you i don't know what's gonna happen honestly i don't know if i'm gonna talk through it because it's gonna be you know it's a little difficult i also um brought the nyx this is their liquid crystal this is a body liner i thought this was an eyeliner what okay now i'm confused because this was in the makeup section of the 99 cent store so now i'm a little confused i thought this was an eyeliner it says body liner i don't know how you would throw that on your body but whatever we're gonna see possibly using this as well Ooh, you could see these are very pigmented right off the bat. I didn't want to go in with my big fluffy brush because, yeah, no. It's a good thing I didn't because it would have blown this shade out so much. Oh, that's stunning. I have to say these are rather powdery. I'll take a couple of those like neon kind of green lime shades just to blend the edges out. All right, that's the best I can do. They literally... This one blended so nicely, okay? This one went great. And then over here, I feel like they look different for some reason, so whatever. I'm going to go ahead and take one of the darker blue shades just to smoke out the um, outer corner. I'm just going to take that blue that's all the way in the end of the palette and just kind of smoke out this little area here. So I learned from the last time using this um, not to use it with my finger because it is a chunky kind of formula. It is supposed to be a liner, but I like using these as a shadow. I feel like they're really metallic, like as the name implies, but I really want to try it as an eyeshadow today. So I am going to take it with a brush. All right, I went ahead and threw on some liner. This is a Santi liquid eyeliner marker. I'll give you guys my thoughts on this at the end. I have quite a bit to say about that. I also did a little bit of a graphic moment using the AOA Studio Eyes on Me, like I mentioned, and I threw on some of the NYX over top of that liquid liner. So I do kind of want to let that liner, that glitter liner, dry because I do not want it to transfer because it feels a little watery. But, girl we're gonna talk about that liner oh my gosh it sucks anyway so i'm gonna throw on some mascara 
We're going in with a new mascara. This one's from Malibu Glitz. This is a Scandal Eyes Reloaded mascara from the Chamisé site. So we're going to see what we think about this. I honestly haven't even opened this. I kind of don't like the packaging. Okay, so it is like a curved moment. I don't even know how to hold this. These mascaras have been <laughs> impressing me. It's literally lifting my lashes already. Wow. Okay this is nice let me know if you could tell it literally lifted my lashes so much so quickly for a dollar their mascaras have really been impressing me i'm really really surprised but okay girl we're gonna see how they look on how it looks on the lower lashes and stuff but so far i'm impressed i go ahead and throw in some lashes i'm taking the a plus glam 3d lashes in the style paris there's a look at those they are really really dramatic all right there's like a gardener going next door so we're just gonna ignore that i'm gonna take some of my super goop primer um sunscreen situation some of my elf primer situation <laughs> And lastly, a little bit of the AOS Studio Wonder Skin Mattifying Primer. And I do want to say I did get staining on my finger from those green um, shades. I did pack on some of that blue shimmer on the outer part of that um, AOS Studio Buttercream. I didn't show it, but it did stain my finger. And in today with primer, I'm trying to finish the e.l.f. one, even though it's so difficult to get it out of here, but it's going and just a dab of this one I haven't used this one in a while i am completely primed next going in with a foundation that was one of my favorites i haven't reached for in a long time so i decided to throw it in today's video this is a l'oreal infallible foundation i use mine in the shade golden amber hopefully it's not too deep for me now this shade is looking a little dark oh no hmm we'll see it's looking a little dark for some reason but oh I love how this foundation blends in. So beautiful. Such a good foundation. I swear I love it. Next, going in with some cream products in my Ebon Contour and Glow Stick just to contour the face. It just blends in so effortlessly. Throwing on the She Glam blush. Honestly, I don't know why I'm throwing on this shade. It's like a pink and we're doing like a blue look, but so nice. Have you tried these She Glam liquid blushes? Let me know down below. I really want to pick up more shades in this um, formula because they are so nice, so pigmented, yet like blendable. They smell really good. Honestly, I'm loving these. I'm going to take a little bit of the LA Colors color correcting highlight and I'm just going to take it on my sponge. I like to like kind of squish my sponge on the side, dab just a little, little bit and blend that in. For concealer, I'm taking two. I'm taking the City Color from my Shop My Stash as well as the Amuse 2 in 1 Foundation and Concealer. Just taking these two as a concealer cocktail. I like using that word now, I don't know why. <laughs> cocktail. So I'm just gonna throw some Amuse. Haven't used that one in a while. And then taking this one from City Colors, just a little lighter. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I've been really into Harry Potter these couple days. I remember back in the day when, um, what was that channel called? It was called uh, ABC Family. It's now called something else, but they used to play Harry Potter all the time. Like during the weekends, it used to be like Harry Potter weekend. They used to give all the Harry Potter movies. And yeah, I've really been into Harry Potter as of lately. I watched the Chamber of Secrets, which is really good. And my favorite has to be the um, Goblet of Fire. Let me know down below what's your favorite like Harry Potter movie or if you've ever watched them. I love them. Um, and the Goblet of Fire is definitely my favorite because that's the one where he's like in all those games and stuff. And it's really, really cool. Definitely recommend. If you've never watched Harry Potter, watch the movie. And honestly, I could vaguely remember myself seeing the Harry Potter books in my library like in middle school and just like running away from them because those books were so big and bulky i was like oh no 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 i was much more into like um, mystery books in middle school for some reason i just found them more interesting but those harry potter books were ginormous i'm taking my ellie colors contour situation what powder do we have oh perfect we have my favorite powder so at the moment i am loving the beauty creations press foundation it is so good. I just know I'm gonna have a good um, foundation day when I wear that, so. 
and I do want to test it with other foundations there's an airplane going by um, just to see how it works all right I'm just taking that powder all over the face all right, I went ahead and fixed the brows. I finished the lower lash line. Next, I'm going to take my Beauty Creations Marillo Twins Little Face Palette. It comes with some bronzers and some blushes. So I'm going to go ahead and bronze up the skin. Just mixing the two blushes in here as well. I'm just going to stamp them on. Oh, wow, that pink one is a little much. So I'm just going to stick to the orange one in this palette. Well, these are a little bright. I never noticed that. Next, I'm taking the Romantic Beauty Highlight. You guys know I've mentioned this in a couple of videos. I'm not the biggest fan of this product. So I'm going to try it out today just to see if I can make it work. Okay, on camera, it's coming out a little more vibrant than in person. I just really have to dig in there to get the product. I'm going to throw just a little bit on the brow bone. So I do have a little bit of a lip combo coming. First off, I'm going to line the lips using the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade. This is in Petal Please, one of my faves. Next, taking the Ellie Colors Pout Lip Gloss Matte. And this one's in the shade Enticing. This is newer to my collection. This was part of my Shop Massey Massive Haul. Oh, it matches the liner perfectly. And it's some of the Beauty Creations Marillo Twins lipstick. And this one's in the shade Brie Brie over top. Taking my Wet n Wild lip gloss. This one's their lip gloss in the shade Jade from the Dollar Tree. I thought this would go perfectly with today's look because we do have like a blue green look going on. Lastly, taking my Beauty Creations Tropical Setting Spray just to set everything in place. Alright guys, so this is the final look. Let me know down below what was your favorite product from today's video. Now we're going to get into my thoughts because I have quite a bit of thoughts on a couple of these items. Let's talk about the product that just sucked out of everything else. Something that stood out that was just horrible that I do not recommend. It is also from the Chamisay site. It was featured in my recent Chamisay Massive Drugstore Haul. So... It is the Senti Liquid Liner, and I'm so disappointed by this liner. It wasn't only a dollar, but you still, like I mentioned before, I never buy products intending them not to work out for me. I always buy products hoping that they work out, that I have like a lot of liners and they all work great. Whatever liner I reach for, that it works for me and for the purpose that I want it for. So yeah, I had to go over top with a different liner because this just did not do it for me. The first time I threw it on like the upper part of the eye, it felt like I was like literally digging into my skin with this. Like the tip, like you could feel the tip going on. It says like if you took a pen and just started like lining your lid, you can feel it. And it was just a little uncomfortable. And then it just doesn't have as much pigment as I wanted to when you go over top the part like to try to deepen it up it doesn't do it it kind of just separates on itself it was such a weird liner i don't know if i got a bad one i tried shaking it for a while i tried like going like this with it maybe heating up the product would have made it better but it just it didn't so not a product that i recommend i didn't really enjoy it i'm gonna try to use it up to get it out of my collection as soon as possible because it's not that great let's talk about the products that were just okay um the awa studio eyes on me i thought was fine i felt like the i was expecting the shade to be like the packaging but it ended up being like a green kind of mossy tone which was okay it ended up working out but eh. I do want to try these with no shadow on just to do like a wing liner to see how that looks but like over top like it looks fine it adds a little bit of something to the look but it's like meh um this product here didn't really work that great this is the glitter liner from Malibu Glitz and it's the green one it didn't really pack a punch I've used the purple one and that one worked a little better but the green one I don't know and then I feel a little weird putting it like right like in the waterline because it does have little glitter specks in it so I don't know if this is eye safe honestly I do have to do some research on that but I just didn't feel comfortable throwing it on the lower lash line and it didn't really pack a punch either it was just like a light kind of lime shade with some glitter specks in it so i'm like meh about this product as well again there's like a gardener going so if you hear that that's what's happening next the palette i thought was fine what was interesting is when i threw on my setting spray it just like kind of started 
melting like the shadow on the lower lash line started like transferring which was really interesting that's never really happened with other eyeshadows i felt like they worked nice they were just a little difficult to blend um but honestly we created a really nice look so i am going to keep reaching for it but you know it's not the best palette in the world i thought this was okay now products that stood out definitely the aoa buttercream this is a metallic one in the shade flirtatious i think these work so much better with a brush than with the finger i think it just went on so well i want to see the longevity and how it looks on the lid now it's not intended as an eyeshadow this is a gel liner but i really like just the shades that they um, came out with they're just so stunning um so i did want to throw it on the lid today so i'll definitely update you guys in future videos but so far so good i really enjoy how it looks on the lid this product it says it's a body liner but i ended up throwing it over top this one worked a lot better than the silver one so i was really impressed by that the mascara i was blown away by it definitely provided lift instantly it was such a quick product and it again it lifted the lashes in no time it was really nice i think the brush had a lot to do with it as well um really good product and the liquid lipstick was stunning i really really liked the color now these are not the most um, comfortable on the lips but you know when you throw a gloss over top it's like it's fine um really nice i really enjoyed the shade in this liquid lipstick i do in a couple other ones but i think i'm gonna reach for this one a lot with that we made it to the end i hope you enjoyed watching as much as i enjoyed filming this video today everything that i talked about other names of the prices are going to be down below as well as any videos that i mentioned throughout this video or videos that i uploaded last week don't forget to upload three times a week on tuesday thursday and sunday so if you could stick around that would be amazing i have my insta handle displayed on the screen i post a lot of makeup finds from drugs to the high end so if that interests you go ahead and follow me there there. and it'd be so amazing if you could like and subscribe of course you don't have to figure your own personally make your own decisions but it wouldn't hurt to give this video a like and i'll see you guys on the next one